Hospital is one of his biggest inspirations. Well, not that I mind inspirations, but ripping it off is just another. Some people won't admit it, but you can tell straight off the bat if you compare them, it looks like it's almost a rip-off. Same thing with Cowboy Bebop the movie, uh, where one of the animated scenes were compared with uh, one of the action scenes from uh, the movie. Uh, when it comes to freak... Oh God, I, I hope they don't make the live-action Akira movie. Well, last I heard, the movie was actually cancelled. Well, really? uh, the, the wall said it was it was um, back in production again. Oh. Or maybe not, who knows, but I just hope it's not going to be made. Yeah, but I just find it funny Naruto fanboy... Naruto say that it, Naruto surpassed Dragon Ball Z. That oh, will never... Yeah. <laughs> That will oh, never happen. That's a load of bullshit. It will never <laughs> surpass example, Dragon Ball Z. One thing, for example, guns can kill people in the Naruto universe, and <laughs> when Dragon Ball Z can just deflect them with a little flick of their finger. No. I can imagine the characters from Pulp Fiction shooting Naruto in the head. <laughs> Goku's been shot. Uh, even as a, as a 12 year old Goku from the original Dragon Ball, Bulma shot Goku in, in the first set, and he, he survived. It was just a, a mere, like, irritated bump. And I gotta say this if you put Snake Pliskin from Escape from New York and Escape from LA in Naruto with a bunch of guns, I, I promise you, within a few, a, like a few days, the whole universe will be gone. No, it's, it's because, and Dragon Ball Z, the the uh, Kira Toriyama never pissed off his fan base in the manga. He never managed to piss them off as much as this asshole who's writing Naruto has pissed off his fan base. <laughs> and I will say this: he, he's even stolen stuff from his brother. Are you serious? Yeah, Kira what stole stuff from his brother. And what was his brother did like the the six 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 die Satan thing or whatever? Six 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 Satan. Yeah. I, I believe that's what it's called. In all parts under, I think. In the U.S., uh, that's what I've heard. But, uh, but like I said, if they put no uh, six 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 Satan good. I've only read a couple of chapters, and I really have nothing to say about it yet. Well. I will say, is that, like I said, if they put Naruto Shippuden on fucking Toonami, I'm not watching Toonami anymore. Fuck Toonami if they do that. You know what? I'm gonna say this: Naruto Shippuden would be a huge improvement for Toonami at the moment right now. I don't give a shit. That's I how bad it, it is. Naruto would be a huge improvement for Toonami. Hell, I'll watch the I Black Cat anime over Naruto Shippuden, and I hate the fucking anime of Black Cat. But wait, Sher, are you looking for a good manga to read? Me? No, Sher, commentary, are you looking for a good manga to read? Um, what? Uh, you said, I thought I heard you say you're looking for a good manga to read? Manga um, series? <clears throat> yeah, I guess. Oh, hey, check. Have you read the, have you read the recommendations manga? Manga? I've been looking for uh, um, some good manga lately, but well, the my bookstore uh, um, where I live by doesn't have a good variety of it. Uh... Try, um, you may have to order these, but try Black Cat Manga. That's a great manga to read. Higamurashi, okay. When They Cry, is a good one to read also. All right, hey, uh, I guess I'll check it out. Sir, have sure. you read the Akira manga yet? I've actually read some of it, but not a good chunk of it. Well, you should read all of it because it's awesome sauce compared to the movie. Wait, I've heard you're, it's a lot better about Dr. Dr. Slump or... Dragon Ball no, I'm Dragon Ball Z? I'm, I'm, no, I'm talking about Akira, Akira, the, like the movie. Oh, oh Akira. I thought you said like, Akira for example, Toriyama. In the, in the manga, Akira, the actual kid, was never dissected. In fact, he was actually sleeping in that little ball thing you saw in the movie. In fact, that guy, Ryu, the, the guy who was with K, who was shot by that old man in the movie, um, mm -hmm. he was the one that killed Akira at the end of the manga. Hmm. Uh, well, anyways, uh, but yeah, sure. Check out either Higamurashi When They Cry because that's a really good manga series, or check out Black Hat. Those are really good. 
there's also the new Sailor Moon manga that just got released. The writing isn't great on it, but it's still a good one to read. I'm not really a fan of Sailor Moon, uh, so I may not check it out. But I will check out Black Cat, though. That's a really good one. And never f and don't ever watch the anime. It's horrible compared to how the great. I got a recommendation is. for manga. Which one? Try the Guyver in manga. It's pretty good. I can't find the actual book five. So I can just read them on the internet. Like on manga thoughts, I think. Problem is, it isn't finished yet, though. But anyways, moving on to our next topic. Um. Uh, Matt, tomorrow you said they're making a Rush Hour 4? Yeah. Um, well, last I heard, it, it's, uh, it's, according to the internet, it's, it's that the um, movie is happening. The, the article, which doesn't have a lot of information on it, it's saying that um, Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan are interested in coming back to do a fourth film. I don't know if Brett Ratner will direct the fourth film. But no Isn't slot. Chris Tucker retired? What about Chris Tucker? Is he retired? I don't know. I mean, I haven't, I haven't seen any work by him since World War Three. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I was used to be like retired or something. He, he probably doesn't get enough work. I mean, or is up in there because I can't. I can't recall if it was a Rush Hour Two or Rush Hour Three when Chris Tucker, um, he. I was talking about wanting to get a bit of a higher pay raise for his next film. Yeah. Because the only, the only films I've seen him in is the, uh, the Mon Talks and the World Cup films. He, I know he was in Friday, but I think his, his role in that movie was pretty short. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait a second. No, yeah, wait, Friday? Hold on one sec. Um... The reason why he wasn't in the next Friday movie was because he wanted more money from Ice Cube to be um, Smokey, the character he was playing, and Ice Cube just passed off the idea saying, no, don't come back. And maybe that's why he's not doing so many movies anymore, because each movie he does, he wants an increased pay. Most, most people in Hollywood want that, though, unfortunately. Look at Charlie Sheen, he want fucking what, uh... More money, more money for um more. two and a half men. And <laughs> and the show ended up tanking after they fired him. Yeah, due to the blood tiger thing. What what about the blood tiger? Eh, it's a long story. He's talking about Charlie Sheen having tiger blood. Yeah. Oh. Please the tell me that he got kicked. Hello? Huh? It just seems something's cutting out. Because during this podcast, a few of you have been cutting in and out, like, and there's a few echoes. Really? Echo. Are, are you still there, Ash? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. That's silent. Because because Chris Tucker reminds me of um, Crispin Glover from from Back to the Future. After after he did the first. Film for the sequel, he wanted to have an equal pay as as a Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. I always thought that Chris Tucker was a cartoon character. No, because <laughs> <laughs> Chris Tucker is a one uh, one dimensional actor. He doesn't know how to expand to other you know other styles of acting. It's pretty straightforward shooting his mouth off and uh, getting his ass kicked. But then they, they had him had his character learn martial arts in the third film. Or actually that he had learned martial arts yeah. by the third film. Yeah. I stopped taking Rush Hour seriously after Rush Hour Part 2. I've never seen Rush Hour. I only saw the first one, which was just like... It was fun film, fun little film, but nothing special. Number two was just blech. Third one, <laughs> eh, meh. Yeah, it, it, it was, it was the, the third film was kind of so-so. Not terrible, but not, uh, 
I mean, I, I, I still don't have the third film. I mean, I've been meaning to get around to uh, seeing them on Blu-ray because I heard that they're on Blu-ray. I'm going to say this first... Rush Hour 4 is going to be like the Batman and Robin and the Jaws 4 of the, ser- of the franchise. Every time I think of Batman and Robin, the back card. <laughs> this is why Superman works alone. And then there's the Jaws 4 movie. Damn it, we need Nostalgia Crick We need Nostalgia Crick on here right now. I want to say back card to him. I own Jaws 4 until I actually got rid of it at a local thrift store. <laughs> Jaws 4. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it was actually huge into Jaws at the time. <laughs> I, re- I remember the uh, I, re- I remember the Jaws three um, review or video that Cri- the nostalgic critic did, where it, it, it was that big the, the, the scene where. Um, hey guys, I'll be right back. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, it, it's where the it's where the, they're discussing about the grenades that. The Australian photographer, he, I believe he's a photographer, he wants to use grenades as a backup, you know, little bombs to take care of the shark, and um, I forget, what, what, what's his name? The, the black guy. <laughs> I don't know, random right black guy one? No, I mean, well, she, I, mean I can't recall the actor's name, but his, uh, the character's name is Calvin, and, and he... And right. he, he and uh, he's the one who's in charge of SeaWorld. And it's at that Lewis point Gothard where... Lewis Gothard or something? Say what? That's the actor's name, Luce, Luce, I don't know. I don't remember actors' names that much, especially from the 80s. Oh, I, 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 I think it's Carl Richard. I think that's his name. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the stock critic had he used a monologue where, where he said something along the lines of... Maybe nobody will notice if I back out of this film. <laughs> or I'm going to say this right right now, but has anyone seen that the Soldier Creek is kind of getting sloppy with his reviews? I've been, uh, I have not really cared about the Nostalgia Creek since 2011. Thanks to his James and the Giant Peach review. God damn it. But that film was horrible. No, I love this movie. Really, um, I didn't think. I thought James was. I thought James Dragon Peach was a pretty good film. I thought. Thank you, Ash. I thought. I thought it was good too. In fact, I grew up on it. I thought Tim Burton's Nightmare for Christmas was still a better film, but was actually a much better film. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, no offense. I do like Nightmare too. Wait, there, Nightmare for Christmas too? No, no, no. I'm I'm agreeing with Ash. Okay. okay. Anyone still waiting for a sequel to that movie? I don't know. There's a wait, sequel coming wait. out. Nightmare Before Christmas too. Yeah. Anyone still waiting for a sequel to come out? For no. It? No. That's no. Fuck no. Don't that's a go. sin. Please. Never. Never. We have we have Cars too. It's sucked balls. We don't need Nightmare too. No. Well, that's, they're that's... remaking an old. Um... Well, yeah, I'm aware of that. They're remaking a Frankenweenie, which is a. Uh... A, a live action uh, thirty minute film directed by Burton himself. It was actually a seventy minute film. Seventy minute? A sixty no, to seventy minute film. It was thirty minutes. Uh, it was actually uh it was actually along with uh, special features of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, I yeah. think it was like a forty five minute to sixty minute film. Yeah, well, I have to look up the runtime for it. I don't know, but, but I haven't seen short- well, for for a short film, that was pretty good. But yeah, for, yeah, it was pretty good, along with uh, Vincent. I will say this. Oh, that was awesome. But I will say this about the nostalgia trick. I don't think he's getting lazy. I think if anyone's getting lazy, it's the angry video game nerd. Oh, oh man, X Sam's going after his ass right now. What? Who? Uh, James Roll? Yeah, he's trying to find his info to dox his shit. Why actually? Well, what what's his reason? Well, apparently, I guess um, angry video game nerd. For two reasons. He asked you for donations for the movie, which. Oh yeah, the whole uh, Kickstarter begging. thing. Yeah, keep which... begging. Yeah, Ace All Year, he actually made a uh, multiple videos on that. Which people were pissed about, but 
I w- I'm going to say it can be expensive to make a film. The only thing I don't get about James is why he had to do it in Hollywood when Nostalgia Critic does all his movies where he lives. And it's 